Hey everybody, welcome back. This week, we're going to take our first look at a software called Central Control, so stay tuned. How I came about doing this video today is I asked for suggestions on my Facebook page and one person responded with this. If you're not familiar with Central Control, which is what we're covering today, Joe D. Max is the actual creator of this software. He did not ask me to make this video. It is not a sponsored video. For transparency purposes, I purchased my own basic version of the software and he upgraded me to Pro for free. I will put a link in the description down below for the website, which is centralcontrol.io. There are three different tiers that you can get. There's an intro, a pro, and an elite. They're $50, $100, or $150, depending on the version. With that being said, let's head over to me in the other room. What I decided to do after looking at some of his other videos and whatnot is I have an A10 Mini that has a super source. I have two stream decks. This is one of the things that his software does, so let's hook it all up and play with it and see how it works. I'll put a link into the description to the website where you can download the software. I already have it installed, so let's take a look at it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to make some super source layouts and save them. We are going to assign some buttons uh, so that we can recall stuff, and we're gonna go from there. Okay, so we're in the software. We're gonna start with the Stream Deck XL, and we're gonna to go to Control Mapping button one. I want to show you guys a quick button over here called quick assign. I'm going to turn that on. I had to go to this menu and bring it to the ATEM. And then I scroll down to set super, super source box source. So super source, there's only one on this. Box one, cam one, button one, plus. I want, I want to stop here and point out something. It moved this down to button two and it moved this to input two. That's what quick assign does. So I'm just gonna go boop, boop. All right, I'm gonna close that. Still having this selected, I'm gonna go to set button feedback. I want off to be blue and on to be red. I'm gonna apply to all. I'm gonna test and notice all the all of them turned green. And actually I want to make the default that blue also. Button one, I'm going to label. All right, there we go, that's one legible. Camera one, two, camera one, camera two, graphics one, two, three, four, spare one, two. And I just know as I go down, it's box one, box two, box three, box four. We're done with the Excel. Let's go ahead and go to the Stream Deck. I, I take that back. Let's go ahead and jump in here because I, what I want to do is I want to label some of these. So that gives that way I know what I want to program onto this button. ATEM super source configuration. This is what makes everything so much fun. So we're going to launch it, then we're going to immediately uh, minimize it because it doesn't matter. It does, but we have to do other things. We have to go to the actual software first. So I want to build a two pip look. I want to, as always, have my PowerPoint in the main portion and then a posted stamp cropped camera on the side. So I'm going to go to this preset. Box one is camera one. Box two is going to be graphics one. And there we go. We've got a thing.
There we go. I like that. I'll take that. And if you ever want to change your background, it's in your Summit Art tab. So I've got that made. I'm going to bring our ATEM Super Source configuration back up. I'm going to add a preset, preset name, GFX PIP. Click OK. Now I want to point something out that I didn't fully understand when I first watched this. The one is for box one, not input one. The two is for box two. I thought it was the input number for some reason. All right, so we've got that one built. So what's one of our other ones? Full screen, okay? So that's easy to make. So box one, I'm going to turn off box two. Box one, position zero, enter. Position zero, enter. Scale 1.0, enter. And I'm going to turn cropping off. Done. Okay. So that's two down. So what else do we want to make? We want to make a three look. So that's our three look. So pop this back up. Add preset. Man, nobody wants to have inner work. All right, and because I feel like this part of the video is taking too long, we're just going to do that. Box four. So we've got the configuration done. We can close the configuration. Stream deck. Control mapping. Button one is supposed to be Graphics 1 pip. So, what I want to do is I want to ATEM, super source preset, preset 1. I want to add that. And now I want to do super source box source, like we did on the other one. So, box 1 is going to be camera 1 add that. We're going to do another one. So box two is going to be graphics one and we're going to add that. So now I'm in this super source. I'm going to press this button. Now I'm in that super source. Yay! Bring this back up. These lights will change as they go because you're changing the boxes as well. I've got all of these, they're all the same. Oh, all four are the same. I can take my iMac full screen. So I can take my second iMac full screen. So if I'm doing an intro, if I'm doing, if they're introducing a speaker, they can do the introduction on wide, go there and we do the presentation, come back to a different shot for people walking on and off stage and then immediately go back to the next PowerPoint. No big deal. I don't know how that came out on that end because I just built, I just, I'll, I'll look at the tape. I think I just spent 15, 20 minutes building all of this where if I did it with macros, it would take over an hour probably to. Saves you time, keeps everything organized. This entire time I have never touched the actual ATEM. I used its software, but I've never actually touched the ATEM this entire process. I mean, that, that programming right there just saves so much time, especially because I'm making the same super source look. I have never switched out of super source this entire time. Even when I'm full screen, I'm in super source. One more thing that I just remembered to, to, to talk about really quickly, really quickly, I promise. That's not what I want. Control mapping. I'm going to go to button one. So, my button one. This is my button one. Me and then this PowerPoint over here. Okay. This look, this whole look, most likely is never going to go to a projector in a room. 
because presenters don't like to see themselves. This is going to go somewhere online or to a record. I want to send just this box full screen to the projector. Well, I have two auxiliary outputs on HDMIs. One is going to my multi view so I can kind of see what's going on. The other one will go to the projector. So, button one. I want to go back to ATEM. I want to find set auxiliary output. Camera one, add. So now, you guys can't see my multi view and I'm not recording it, sorry. But on here, so video output right now is program. Now I'm going to press this button again and you'll kind of see it change. So now not only is graphics one over here, over, over here, right there, it's also coming out my projector. And I can add that to every button or all four of these buttons. Awesome, 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 awesome. This thing is really cool. As always, I've been Redbeard, and this is what I do. Yeah. How's the audio? Picking up that?